I told you, Jones, and I told you before, you've got to be insane to get in the same ring as me, and you've got to be even more insane to get in with me and my tag partner, called Jack Kirk. For tonight, you're going to get your lesson. I've heard what you've had to say, Stax. Let's get in the ring and let's prove what's going to happen. There's a lot of surprises going around in the world of sport, and there's going to be one this afternoon in professional wrestling. Between us, there may be only 30 stone. You're carrying 60 stone against us. But I'll tell you something, if me and this kid get it right this afternoon, there's going to be one big surprise, and all you viewers are going to watch us do it. Yes, and here we go right now. Tag team time. Haystacks and Kirk versus these two. Marty Jones leading his partner Steve Logan from Birmingham. Marty Jones, of course, from Oldham, Lancashire. Much lighter, of course. They've got a lot of weight to opposite them here this afternoon. Any moment now, we'll see them coming through that far door. And here they are. Mel Kirk leading the big man himself. Even Mel Kirk looks like a midget, doesn't he? And he's a big man of 23 stone two and about five foot 11. But his partner getting into the ring now, which he doesn't always find too easy, is the big man himself, giant haystacks from Salford, Lancashire. Arguments finished. I think it's Brian Crabtree tries to introduce them now. The main event is an heavyweight tag team contest to be wrestled over a 20 minute duration. Two falls, two submissions, or two knockouts decides the winner. On my left and in the red corner, the incomparable, the giant haystack. the Pittman Hercules, King Kong Kirk. In the blue corner, from Lancashire, Marty Jones. From Birmingham, Steve Logan. Well, now they have got a job on here this afternoon. Marty Jones at 14 stone 12, the world mid heavyweight champion, of course. His partner, Steve Logan, at 14 stone against these two giants of well over 65 stone between them. Dave Reese is the poor, unfortunate referee who's going to be amongst it, trying to separate when they overtag and they break the rules as they're bound to do. I mean, of course, the two big fellows on the right, not the others. First session. And here we go. 20 minutes tag. Two falls, two submissions, two knockouts, two disqualifications to decide the winners. And here we go for the first session. It's Mal Kirk versus Marty Jones, who just leapfrogged his partner to get to the ring quickly. Kirk doesn't like it, and he's getting haystacks out before he allows the wrestling to, to restart. is finally on his tag rope outside the, the ring there, all right, and we can go ahead with the first session finally maybe now, which is still Marty Jones versus Mal Kirk, but still arguments. Referee Dave Reese doesn't like something that, Koja <laughs> that the big man said, this is sending him out again.
They've never known a tag contest take so long to start. Marty Jones shrugged his shoulders this side, saying, well, we're ready. We've been ready ever since the bat. So finally now, we might get rustling here. Kirk versus Jones. And it's an arm roll straight from Marty Jones. Kirk not too happy about that quick move. <laughs> Marty Jones grinning over his face. Everybody loves that except one man. There he is. Going for a referee's hole start, but it's still Marty Jones that gets him down first. Obviously, speed and skill on his side, Jones. But Kirk is a very experienced wrestler and he's got a tremendous lot of weight, of course, on his side. But the Marty Jones' left knee, making sure that left elbow stays straight, and the arm against the joint. Jones reminding referee Reese to watch that corner case. Haystacks comes in to help this part. Yes, but Barty Jones, despite the fact that he went down in a slam, has still got the wrist lever. And <laughs> in comes his partner. Logan takes over the hold. Double-handed wrist lever on Kirk. Goes for the finger interlock now. Drop kick under the arm. Agility here. Agility, speed, and skill. These two fellows on the left. should be looking he must not turn his back in comes Haystacks like it or not he's coming in now but he hasn't been tagged referee Dave Reese quite right to send him out because he has not been tagged the other two men both in not quite sure which one to get out finally Logan gets out and leaves it to Marty finally he tagged, but rather loosely. And he's tagging from the wrong side of the ropes anyway. He should be outside. Nevertheless, we continue with the first session. Now, this is the sort of thing Marty Jones has got to watch. He can't try too many of his wrestling holes here. Not the near ones, because he just cannot reach. Point. Try to get the big man mad, and I think he succeeded already. Haystack's going to try and argue with the crowd now, and Marty will never lift him over that top rope. Well over 40 stone. Even Marty can't lift that over. Five minutes gone. Five minutes gone. how to get his fans on his team anyway Marty in comes Steve Logan against the big man the lightest man in the, of the four now against the heaviest see what impression he can make <laughs> the head bucks the temple Dave Reese, the referee, can, ex can persuade Haystacks to get off there. He can, and out he goes. So it's Kirk versus Logan. Kirk comes in happy now because 
Doesn't mind tackling Logan. Again, the headbutt to the side of the head there. And he wants to tag badly now, Logan. And Kirk will never let him over there. Well, they got him really in the, in the wrong corner for him. He's got to get back to the other corner in his corner. Nice drop kick, yeah. And a follow-up. Swinging up a kick. On another. Doing well. And the drop kick. Again, but only shoulder height. Again, shoulder height drop kick. That's it. Forced him off by the Again, Kojak. Kirk is in trouble. Or King Kong Kirk will call him now. And his partner wants to come and save him. But not allowed. Back on his tag rope is the big man from Salford. Tag. Finally, that rollout got in the tag. In comes Marty Jones. Now it could be a very different story. <laughs> Marty Jones will miss those all night. <laughs> oh, flying tackle. Caught him over and Kenny Hull. Watch his opponent. Reese the tags. It's a fall. So in just eight minutes, 27 seconds, it's Marty Jones, that's the first one over Kirk. In eight minutes, 30 seconds, the first fall to the blue corner, Marty Jones, Steve Logan. And a neat move it was too, let's see how he did it. Throws with a flying tackle. And amazingly, Kirk looks as though he's caught him, but loses balance at the last second. Jones follows it up and manages to hold him. He was so worried about his, his other opponent coming in, as you saw on the right. He takes his man long before he gets up. But this time, Jones waiting for him, and there's the drop kick. And a drop kick by Logan. And a drop kick by <laughs> Jones. And one by Logan. And I don't know what these two fellows are both doing in the ring at the same time, but they're getting away with it so far. Logan now. <laughs> oh, yes. Inside of the forearm. Took him off the ropes there. Nice move by Kirk. Good post again. Kirk follows him up. Ooh. Almost like a big daddy splash there in the corner post. And that should have weakened Logan quite a bit. And the splash maybe now. All the way down. Bang! So straight around the throat. And the tag. In comes Haystacks now. Continue the treatment when his man gets up. When his man gets up. Logan reaching helplessly out for his partner, Marty Jones, but can't, no chance from there at all. Oh, that's... <laughs> when you get a body check from this big man, you must know you've been body checked. And it's right, it's a submission, it's a submission. There's the equalizing submission by Haystacks over Logan in just 11 minutes, 45 seconds of this 20 minute contest. Ladies and gentlemen, in 11 minutes, 45 seconds, the equalizing submission to the giant haystacks, King Kong Kirk. So the haystacks Kirk corner get their equalizer on a submission just under 12 minutes, but we've still got about eight minutes to go for session three. And I, just a question, remember that Logan's got to restart. 
Let's see if he can. Second away for third and final session. Marty Jones advising him there, trying to get trying to get back for the tag suit. He's got to rustle a bit first, though. He can't go to the tag immediately. Stay nicely out, <laughs> won't make any effect at all, and all that. Not the slightest effect. He stacks just laughs when he says forearms. And a public warning for the Haystacks corner. First public warning to Giant Haystacks. Somehow Steve Logan's got to get over to Marty Jones and get a tag. Jones waiting patiently on the left there. Finally, a tag the other corner. Kirk versus Logan. Yes, the legs left and trouble, trouble for Logan here. And it's that he might get a tag if he gets back a little bit further. And he's tagged it. In comes Jones. Now Kirk could be in trouble. But he's caught outside the ring there by Haystacks. And a second public warning goes to Haystacks. Second and final public warning to the giant Haystacks. So it's Kirk now with Marty Jones over his shoulder. And he put a backbreaker right over the shoulder. Can he slide off? He can. And he drop kicks the ref. And he's got the ref instead of Kirk. Kirk sidesteps to the Not ref. Clean contest. out. Dave Reese is clean out. I've never seen this happen. Marty Jones didn't mean it, of course. He, come, he just aimed the drop kick at Kirk, and Kirk sidestepped it. So, as seconds and everybody get to look after Dave Reese. Oh, gosh, I've never seen that happen before. Now we've got to have an uh, alternative referee, of course, we've always got here in the shape of uh, Ken Joyce. Can we have a referee Joyce. down to the ring and another referee down to the ring? This is how it happened. Let's watch this as Kirk is standing there. Marty Jones goes for the drop kick and Kirk sidesteps and Dave Reese is right in the line of fire. Jones realizes what he's done and of course he immediately regrets it. Ladies and gentlemen, Ken Joyce, the referee, states that he cannot give a verdict in a contest he has not been involved in. Therefore, referee Ken Joyce stops the contest and calls it a no contest. He's no abandoned. contest. He's abandoned the match. It's the only thing he could do. He's a perfect right to do it, of course. He's a qualified referee, and he can't take over the match. The last four minutes to go, I think that's all there was to go. Oh, no, the big man doesn't like it, and he argues with me whenever he can. He <laughs> always shouts down at me. I don't know what I can do to help him, but still. Anyway, it's, uh, it's Marty Jones now outside the ring, arguing with uh, Kirk and with Haystacks, but the result is a no contest. It has been abandoned. So that rather curious finish, Marty Jones very unhappy, because obviously it was quite an of him, 12 stones, 7 of him.